By the time you're done watching this presentation to the very end, you'll never have to wonder if you can completely satisfy any woman in the bedroom. Because in this video, you're going to get the tools to read any woman's sexual blueprint so that you can confidently get her turned on, make her come faster, harder, and longer than she ever has in her life, and even open her heart to you so that she'll feel authentically connected and devoted to you. Even if you already consider yourself pretty damn good in bed, this video is going to give you the tools to be great. And that's why I'm about to share secrets that give you the power to literally take control of a woman's sexual response so that you can literally drive pleasure into her body at will and give her orgasm after orgasm until she literally can't take anymore, which, as you might expect, is going to make her feel very, very nice things about you. Now, to lay some important groundwork for you, I'm going to share a very personal story that is pretty embarrassing. So I'm posting it for free online only as a test. Regardless of how you found out about it or what brought you to this page today, I just want to be clear that I may have to take it down as quickly as I put it up. So watch it now and watch it to the very end. And if I were you, I'd consider taking some notes because there very well may be a 404 not found page here in the very near future. So I was about halfway through freshman year in college. I guess that would make it 87. And it was early December before we went home for the holidays. So even though it was getting dark pretty early in the day, it was still pretty warm outside. I went to school in North Carolina. And I remember that night very clearly because on that particular night, I was getting laid. She was a friend of my roommate and she'd invited me over for a glass of wine on a Friday night. Now, it's probably obvious to you that she'd invited me over for a bottle of wine on a weekend that her roommate just happened to be out of town because obviously she wanted to have sex. And I figured that. But at the time, I had no idea why she might have been interested in me because I knew I was ugly. I mean, I had a ton of evidence for that fact. So when I ended up in bed with a pretty girl like that in college, I was, you know, frankly grateful. Anyway, we finished a couple of bottles of wine sitting on the rug between the beds of the dorm room on the floor. And we made out for a while. And then she took my hand and stood up and led me to the bed. You know, <laughs> funny how you remember these details that I got under the blanket before taking my pants off because I was still really insecure about the size of my penis and I didn't want her to see it. So I slipped my pants off under the blanket. And when I started fumbling with the condom, the nightmare really began because I lost my erection. As soon as I started to unwrap it, I went limp. And of course she noticed and she's like, what's wrong? Which is not what you want to hear. So I kept trying and it kept getting more limp and smaller and smaller. I was just too nervous to get it up. Back then, I never even heard of a guy having problems getting it up when he was nervous. And maybe it was just less talked about back then. In any case, I thought I must be the only guy in the world who was such a wuss that he couldn't get hard when he was in bed with a pretty girl. And trust me, I had very, very normal hormones. Now to her credit, Roommate's friend was incredibly patient and understanding for an 18-year-old girl. And eventually, she suggested that we try it without the condom because she was on the pill. <laughs> I almost resented not being off the hook because now I couldn't even blame the condom. I focused literally every bit of my mind and willpower onto getting myself turned on. I was freaking out. I imagined every girl that had ever turned me on in my entire life I even tried fantasizing that I was back at home in my own dorm room jerking off. And finally, it got about halfway there and I managed to wriggle the little semi-limp thing inside of her. And that's when you can guess what happened next. I had worked so hard to get myself excited that the feeling of warm wetness inside of her made me come pretty much instantly the moment I got inside her. And I tried everything I could to stop it, but it was like trying to stop a freight train by stringing a ribbon of toilet paper across the tracks. And she, she had been so nice to me. She bought wine. She lit candles. She was really, really patient with all of my pathetic awkwardness. How could I ever face her again? I apologized over and over and she, you know, did that pretending like it was no big deal thing. I had it in my head that I might get it up again. You know, I might redeem myself and last longer this time. But after about 30 minutes, I realized that I was just too nervous and it was never going to happen. And I was just further humiliating myself. So finally, I left her dorm room just before dawn. I walked slowly back to my quad, trying to figure out if there was any way my life could turn out to be anything but miserable if I couldn't even ever have sex like a normal man. And I cringed as I realized that 
my roommate was going to hear about this. I mean, they were close friends from back home and he'd probably ask her about it. I wondered who he might tell, who else she might tell. I mean, how many people on the campus were going to know about this? And so alone in the pre-dawn December chill, I sat down on the wet grass in the middle of the quad and I cried my freaking eyes out. And sitting there in the wet, cold grass as the sky began to brighten, something shifted in me. I stood up, I shook the tears from my eyes because that was the moment that I realized that of course I was never gonna be great in bed just by accident. I wasn't gonna grow up one day and discover that like the ugly duckling, I was suddenly swan dude that all the chicks were hot for. And I could learn, I could practice, I could take responsibility for actually making a change in myself. I could decide what kind of man I wanted to become and I could work for that. And I was gonna get this sex thing handled. I slept a few hours and then the first thing I did was I went to the gigantic campus library, which actually was the third largest in the country at the time. And to my surprise, there was an entire and huge section devoted to sexuality. I mean, literally probably 300 books, including quite a few of the classics of the sexual revolution, uh, and the whole free love generation, where they were writing a lot of books like The Joy of Sex and uh, the lesbian feminist classic Our Bodies, Ourselves and several translations of the Kama Sutra. And I spent day after day locked in that library and I read everything. I read science and anatomy. I read the poetry of Sappho and the literary smut of Henry Miller and the, the poems of Anais Nin. I read the life of Casanova. I read about Dr. Ernst Grafenberg's discovery of the G-spot and about the psychoanalysis of deep-rooted sources of women's sexual fantasies. I read Masters and Johnson sexual studies and the anatomy of the clitoris and even discovered that there was something called performance anxiety, which explained exactly what had happened to me that night and that it turned out to be pretty common. And I started having regular, in-depth, extremely graphic conversations with women about sex, what they liked, what they didn't like, what turned them on and what ruined it for them. I stumbled almost immediately onto two insights from these conversations. One. Girls love to talk about sex, and they will go on and on about every detail in the most graphic way all day long if you're just chill about it. And two, I learned the single most important thing there is to know about being great in bed. Something so simple that it's almost ridiculous and twice as ridiculous because as far as I could tell, nobody else in any of the hundreds of books I was reading seemed to know about it. And yes, I promise I will tell you exactly what that thing was before the end of this video. I was a man obsessed. And all these conversations that I was having with the girls about sex, they began to have another result too. A lot more sexual opportunities and even a few girlfriends. And in a very short time, I learned how to quickly, easily, and expertly give any woman intense orgasms at will. And today, in just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can do it too. Yet that is not the end of the story. There was a lot more to great sex than just giving a woman an orgasm. Let's not kid ourselves and think that something she can do twice as fast by using a vibrator makes us king for the day. The world is full of guys that thought they were great in bed because their girl always came during sex and then couldn't figure out why she broke up with him. If you want to learn how to give any woman the most mind-melting and heart-opening sexual experiences of her life, then you will want to watch this video to the very end. The incredibly sad truth is most men will go to their graves without ever experiencing this kind of sex, period, never. Because there are forces in our culture that literally make it impossible for most men to learn this stuff. This is the real reason why the vast majority of men have so much uncertainty, embarrassment, and frustration with their sex lives. And it's why only a shocking one in seven women ever have an orgasm during intercourse, yet most couples have no idea that none of this is their fault. The fact is this. You've been lied to your entire life about sex and what makes a great lover. The brainwashing around sex begins when you're just a kid. By the time you're 12 and you're starting to get flooded with the hormones, you already know that your male sexuality is bad and wrong and something you should definitely be smart enough to know you have to hide and never mention. Let's face it, showing your penis in school, it's gonna get you in big trouble. That sounds funny and it sounds obvious, but the fact is, as much as the media shows off breasts, I mean, everybody loves breasts. We're supposed to look at breasts. Women are supposed to be proud of their breasts. Everybody loves breasts. But this same media makes it really clear that men do not take off their pants and show their penises. 
Those things have to be kept hidden at all costs. The way the media shows it, women literally scream in terror if they accidentally see one, you know, when the towel falls off. And frankly, long before you've hit the seventh grade, you've learned that expressing your natural male curiosity about women's bodies is wrong, shameful, and will get you into trouble if the adults find out. And that's just natural curiosity. Forget about your natural male desires. And on that blank slate of shame, here's what our culture writes on our very earliest impressions of what's expected from a man who wants to be a good lover. A huge cock and the stamina to bang away on a woman for hours. And even if you think you already know that this is really just a big fat lie, you're almost certainly also aware that it's still deeply carved somewhere in the back of your brain like it is on all of us. And these are just a few of the factors that literally brainwash men from children to adulthood so that you end up struggling to consistently give women the kind of powerful, intimately connected sex that they crave. It's not something you've had any control over in the past because the deck was stacked against you before you even sat down to play at the table. And hang on because there is still more bad news. Because the next thing that happens is a bunch of men's magazines and websites try to capitalize on all this dissatisfaction and they hire women to write endless articles on what women really want in bed. And we men eat that shit up. Because after all, if you want to know what women like in bed, ask a woman, right? The problem is most of these self-professed experts are just telling you something that got them off personally, their taste, and it may or may not work on the woman in your bed. Or they tow the old feminist line of, you need to slow down and give way more foreplay, which really just means that even they have no idea why sometimes they get off with a man and sometimes they don't. Yet none of this advice that they give is going to work on all women. None of it will work for any woman all the time. And none of it is going to keep a woman from getting bored or disinterested in sex with you or starting to think about other men and probably all three. And let's not blame the women for that because chances are, you get bored too. This is not what I want for you, and I know it's not what you desire for yourself. So let's talk about what does work. And let's dive into the three essential tips that will put you immediately on the track to being the best lover the woman in your bed has ever experienced. The most important tip I'm about to share with you instantly builds deep intimacy and makes a woman feel authentic sexual connection and sexual trust with you so that she can surrender into much, much more powerful orgasms. This gives her permission to open up her most secret sexual desires with you and she'll feel like you are a sexual psychic who just intuitively knows exactly what most turns her on. In fact, I call it the sexual psychic technique and I'll explain exactly how it works and why it makes her feel so much connection and trust with you, whether you're making love to your wife of many, many years or having sex with a woman for the very first time. And to do that, first I need to warn you about the wrong way to do this. It's the big mistake that virtually every man makes when he wants to be good in bed. And what's worse, it's what most women will tell you you should do to be good in bed. Yet in fact, even for the woman that tells you that this is what she wants, it kills sexual attraction and arousal faster than showing her how you learned how to chug a bottle of beer and then sing the entire alphabet in just one long burp. What is this arousal killing mistake that probably every other guy she's ever been with has made? Well, it's tip number one and it's what you must never do, asking her what she likes in bed. I actually had a famous female radio host grill me about this one. She was so offended that I would give such bad advice. After all, Every women's magazine and talk show constantly have female sex experts yammering on and on about how they wish men would just be more open to just asking their woman about what turns her on and what pleases her. Why can't they just ask us? Why can't they just talk about it? And to be fair, it's not that bad to ask her what she likes in bed as dinner conversation or in flirty conversation in a bar but do not ask a woman what she wants while you're making love to her or right before or right after because when you do that, it makes you look tentative and uncertain and that is not sexy. It breaks her out of that moment of pleasure and sexiness when she was in her body and aroused and instead, it engages her logical thinking brain, which is exactly what you don't want if you ever want her to have an orgasm. 
It makes her wish that she was with a man who already knew what turned her on. So I don't care what the women's shows say. Asking her what she wants when you're in bed will almost always be a bad move. It does not make you a cool, evolved guy who's a good communicator, who's comfortable to talk openly about sex, and who can make women feel respected by taking the time to communicate and understand her feelings and desires. See, there are basically two ways that virtually every man goes wrong in bed. One, he's either an insensitive jerk who just bangs her like you saw in porn and is mostly just psyched that he got laid and got himself off, or two, he's the sensitive try-hard wuss. He's the guy who women wish they could like, but they just can't really get turned on for him. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do instead so that you never have to ask a woman again about what turns her on, and instead, you'll already know exactly how she wants to be touched, how she wants to be seduced, how she fantasizes about getting fucked, so that before she even knows what's happening, you're giving her powerful leg-shaking orgasms, faster than she's ever come before, and while you're smirking because you've barely even gotten started yet, she's already thinking, who the hell is this guy and where did he learn to do that? Now, here's the second important tip. This one's funny because it seems so easy and obvious, it's literally one of the easiest ways to give a woman an orgasm, and yet, I've never heard anyone else teaching it. Let's face it, you're listening to me talk right now because when the woman that you're with is enjoying sex and having orgasms, it's more fun for you too. Nothing is more of a turn on than a woman having an orgasm. So if you're like most normal men, when you feel like she's getting close, you have this urge to sprint for the finish. It's just wired into us to go a little faster, a little harder, a little deeper, you know, get the job done. This is the way men are designed. When we get towards the end, it's time to go for it. Now, if you've ever seen women at a dance club, or even if you just watch a woman when the music comes on in any room, you'll immediately notice that women are much more affected by rhythm than men are. And I'm guessing that's because it's so wired into their sexual response. When you're stimulating your partner, whether with your fingers, your tongue, or during fucking, it's important that you find not just where and how she likes to be touched, but to focus on finding the rhythm that she really responds to. Then, and here's where almost every guy goes wrong, as she gets more and more excited, and it seems like she's gonna come, resist the natural urge to speed up. What usually happens is, when you go faster and harder, the beat changes a little bit. You drop the beat, you lose the rhythm, and it was the rhythm that was working. And then, you start to hear her say things like, oh, oh, I'm so close, or wait, wait, I was almost there. And when I say that it's not men's fault that we don't know that it was the rhythm thing that was the problem, I mean it because women don't seem to know about this either. They can't seem to figure out why they felt so close and they couldn't quite come. And this happens especially during intercourse. Here's what you should do instead. When you do something that starts getting her hot, just keep going without changing the rhythm. It's that simple. In a few minutes, even, or even just a few seconds sometimes, she'll have a deep, satisfying orgasm. And that's it. And yeah, it actually is that easy. Think of using this rhythm method as the world's easiest and coolest magic trick. Nobody can figure out how you did it. It leaves everyone amazed every time, and it's so stupid simple that you never, ever get it wrong. So the next time you hear, I'm almost there, you won't have to worry about it ending in frustration, or worse, her faking it. So whether we men like it or not, when a woman can't come with you, it embarrasses her. She usually feels like she's the one who's doing something wrong, or she figures you'll be disappointed. In fact, she knows it because every other guy she's ever been with who couldn't make her come acted grumpy and disappointed and insecure afterwards, or asked her the dreaded, what would turn you on, baby, question. And can you see that if you can't make a woman come, and it's been a while, and she keeps saying, I'm almost there, and she's not coming all night long, and then after that, you ask her that question, what would you like? I mean, that has got to be even more frustrating for her. She usually doesn't really know why she's not having an orgasm, and when you ask, it frequently causes her to come to the simple conclusion that you just don't really turn her on that much. Well, that's not a problem anymore at least not for you, because now you can use this simple little rhythm trick and it works like a charm on those women. Can you see yourself the next time you're with a woman and she says, wait, wait, I'm almost there. And instead of getting all worked up and trying like crazy to make something happen like every other guy she's ever been with, 
you can just give her a confident smile and say, I got you, baby, here you go. And then guide her through a massive climax and just hold that rhythm while she bucks and goes crazy with pleasure beneath you. And that is a very, very good feeling. And it gets better because there are two very simple variations on the rhythm method that work even better. In fact, they're the key to giving women multiple orgasms, extended orgasms, and what I call stacked orgasms. Stacked orgasm is when you've already got her coming and coming in an extended orgasm, and then you change the rhythm in just the right way, at just the right moment, and it actually knocks her into an even higher state of orgasm. When you learn the trick to doing this right, she will literally scream the walls down. Stick with this video to the very end. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to learn that trick today. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to try that one with your woman tonight or with the very next woman you're with if you're currently single, because it is awesome. Okay, here's the most important tip of all. The sexual psychic tip that I mentioned earlier. The secret of how you're gonna know exactly what most turns on a woman in bed without having to ask her. There is nothing more empowering, more freeing than knowing exactly how to touch a woman to get her turned on and exactly how to have sex with her to unlock her most secret fantasies her most intense pleasure, never having to guess or worry if you're doing it right or if she's faking it. So let's put an end to that worry right now. Next time you're seducing your woman, here's what you do. Stop thinking about what you should do. In fact, stop thinking at all. And instead of focusing on the dialogue in your head, focus on the input from your five senses. Listen, feel, smell, taste, and see her. When you continue to focus on opening your attention into her body, two things begin to happen that are pretty cool. One is she actually feels your attention and you'll begin to notice that you can actually feel what's going on inside her body. You'll begin to know where she wants to be touched almost before she does. And then touch her there, obviously, but keep focusing on her with all five senses. There are a few simple but subtle tricks to doing this really effectively. Once you get it, three, amazing things happen. One, you'll know exactly how to stimulate her, whether with your hands and tongue or when you're actually having intercourse with her, you'll know exactly how to drive her straight towards arousal and orgasm without having to guess. And two, because she can actually sense that you're tuned into her, when she feels you doing this, she'll begin to feel a growing sense of intimacy and connection with you, which also makes it much, much easier for her to come and to experience much more powerful orgasms with you. And three, this growing sense of intimacy that she feels, this connection also makes her feel good about her own sexuality. It makes her feel pretty, it makes her feel sexy, and it makes her feel accepted as a sexual being. And this gives her permission to be more sexual with you and to steer sex towards acting out her naughtiest secret fantasies. Why does this work? Look. Women have issues and anxieties around their sexuality exactly the way men do. And when you say to a woman that you wanna know what her dirtiest sexual fantasies are, she's not gonna tell you the full truth because she's insecure too. She's afraid of being judged. And that's why when you really understand how to do the sexual psychic technique the right way, she feels like the two of you are just sexually in sync. And that is what makes her feel safe to explore her secret desires with you. Imagine your sex life when you confidently know exactly what to do with that woman in your bed that is going to unleash her wildest desires and know how to make her willing and eager to share the craziest sex of her life with you. You'll be giving her orgasms like no other man has ever been able to do, making her feel sexier, more sexually free than she's ever felt and all while getting her to feel more emotionally and intimately connected to you as a lover and as a man. This stage feels almost magical. You're actually gonna be able to give her orgasms at will. Women will literally go crazy when you pull this trick off and she's gonna be wondering how on earth you can be making her come so quickly and easily. If you're in a relationship right now, imagine knowing that you can just pour pleasure into the girl you love until she weeps tears of joy. And then after collapsing together into a state of deep and connected bliss, that feeling that you get, she puts her head on your chest with that slightly naughty grin on her face like she just won the lottery and she doesn't want anyone else to know. 
So look, you now have two choices. I know that some of the tips and information I covered in this video came pretty fast, and some of them might seem a bit confusing. You probably understand how different this system is for creating incredible sexual pleasure, connection, and ultimately devotion from a woman. And hopefully you took some notes because you certainly can go it alone from here. And if you follow the tips in this video, you will start to get amazing results in the bedroom. Or follow my recommendation. Take the brain dead simple works every time path that the vast majority of men who really care about women take. See, I've already done the work for you to figure out and to test every detail of making a complete, simple, and virtually foolproof system that thousands of couples are already using to enjoy the kind of incredible sex every single day that they never imagined was possible. I call it revolutionary sex. I'm Alex Allman, and I'm the creator of Revolutionary Sex, the proven system for giving any man confident ease and power to win any woman's respect, admiration, and deep devotion by giving her the most mind-melting multiple orgasms of her life. This radically simple system will work for you. Even if you've always been nervous around women and sexuality in the past and you've got some issues there, even if you think you're unattractive the way I did, fat, bald, or you think you're short, or you never imagined considering even the possibility that any woman might actually find you sexy. Even if you're in a relationship with a woman who has a low or has no sex drive at all, even if you're a virgin who has no sexual experience, even if you have performance problems, erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, anything from the past, and even if you are already pretty damn good in bed and you know it and you just want to be better, or even if you think you've tried everything. Now, let me tell you what revolutionary sex is not, just so you know exactly what you're about to experience. It's not another feminist manual that tells you, slow down, give her more foreplay, and be more sensitive and emotionally available so you can serve the Earth Mother Goddess. And it is definitely not the macho, just dominate her and fuck her like a real man crap either. What it is, is the result of thousands and thousands of hours of study of every other methodology out there from ancient Tantra to contemporary sexual shamanism combined with years of practice, of innovation, and of testing and testing and testing, and then proven with the results of thousands of men, women, and couples who've tried revolutionary sex and completely redefined the idea of just how great and endlessly fulfilling a great sex life can really be. I believe that you are the kind of man like me that lives for those moments looking down at your lover after it's over, her hair wet with sweat and the tears of joy that are still leaking from the corners of her eyes and her face is flushed and angelic the way she looks up at you, her body still shaking in aftershocks from all of those explosive orgasms, still unable to speak because her brain has been so blown open by pleasure. And all she can manage in that state is a weak, hoarse little giggle. Man, that feels good. And if that's not how you feel about it, if you want to use these powerful intimacy building techniques so you can you know, turn women into your sex toys or be manipulative in some way, please close this window now and leave this page. I'm serious. Revolutionary sex was created expressly for men who love women, men who love giving women incredible sexual pleasure, and men who are open to the kind of deep connection that can only happen in a sexual relationship. So if you're not that kind of man, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. You probably don't belong here. On the other hand, if you are a man who loves women, a man who enjoys the sweetness of the feminine and gets pleasure from making women smile, and she will be smiling all day, if you love nothing more than opening a woman up to her own beauty and giving her powerful sexual and sensual pleasure, and especially if you want a particular and special woman to feel deep, surrendered devotion to you as her man, then revolutionary sex isn't just a system for you, it's the only system for you. Want to know what kind of results men like us are getting from revolutionary sex? I got this email from Sam. He said, my girlfriend had more orgasms than she could count. She used to have the odd few that weren't very amazing, as she said, compared to after using these tips. And she even asked for sex again later in the day because it was so good. And uh, he says here, it took her 15 minutes to come back down to earth when they were done. Jay says, and this is typical of many men, 
he was in a relationship for three years and things had become mundane and boring in our sex life. The information supplied in your book was great, not just about how to please women, but most importantly about ourselves as men and how to be great in bed. And that really is a big part of the secret. He goes on to say, the level of orgasms she achieves now are absolutely out of this world. I'm pretty sure she was faking it before because now it's so much more raw, loud, and her body trembles like I had never experienced before. And my stamina is much increased. I find myself in control. I come when I want to, and I go four to five rounds in a night easy now. Uh, this one from Caleb says, I got her to squirt for the first time and many times after that. At first she was yelling my name, but by the end she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Like I said, the neighbors very well might complain. So right now let's take a look at what you'll receive today with Revolutionary Sex. <laughs> I like the flame effect. You're getting the new third edition Revolutionary Sex ebook, which you'll be able to download instantly to your computer. This new revised edition, I've updated it with new ideas, new material, and just between us, a couple of improvements to some of the techniques that I really just figured out in the time since I released the last edition. I've updated my should-be-patented six-step method for giving any woman an orgasm, guaranteed. Most men, frankly, would kill just for this if they knew how effective and easy it is. Brand new to this edition, a heat map illustration of the main erogenous zones of the female body, many of which, get this, are normally considered rated PG, so when you learn how to properly touch them, you can give women shocking, I mean shocking, powerful orgasms without ever touching her vagina, her breasts, or any of the, the normally rated R bits. In fact, if it weren't for all the screaming, you could actually do this in public. Plus, I fully explain how the sexual psychic technique works so that you'll know in the moment exactly how she wants to be touched to give her the kind of deep sexual pleasure that she craves and that she only thought existed in her wildest fantasies. Here's the way the program breaks it down for you. The first part is really all about you. I cover mental attitudes, the basic skills and understandings, and all the internal stuff you need to blow the doors off what most women fantasize about when they imagine a great lover. I go into everything that most men worry about, so you never have to. I go into size issues, I cover the best positions and techniques to use if you're smaller than average, larger than average, or just average, so that you can give her the ride of her life no matter what nature gave you. A lot of men don't know this, but there are tons of techniques where smaller works better to give women intense, soul-shaking, scream-inducing pleasure. You have performance questions? I explain exactly why sometimes men find it hard to get hard when the pressure is on, like happened to me, and my step-by-step -step method for destroying this issue in your mind forever. Look, you could give a woman orgasm after orgasm until she passes out just from the finger and tongue techniques that are in the book, but I wanna make sure you're enjoying every second too, and there is just something special about intercourse, about actually fucking her. You just can't get that experience from anything else in the world, so it's important to me that I completely eradicate the worry of performance anxiety from your sex life. There are way better things to occupy your mind with when you're making love to your woman. Same thing goes for stamina issues. I don't want you to have to give a second thought to lasting long enough to please her. So I've included everything you need to know to make that a non-issue so that you can put that behind you and get on with the fun and intimacy of making her come hard during intercourse. I have devised exercises, methods, and I have perfected them across years so that any man can learn how to last as long as he and his partner desire. I got this uh, success story from a guy in Georgia. He says that he's always had a PE problem and he's always had a guilty conscience about sex. And two days ago, he writes, two days, I purchased your book online, read the first 100 pages. Last night and this morning, I had the best sex of my entire life. The next part of the book is devoted to her. Master guitar player knows everything about his instrument. Of course, he knows how to tune it and all the basic stuff, but he also intimately knows every fret, every string, and every way to draw beautiful sounds out of that instrument, even with his eyes closed. In the same way, I want you to understand every detail of a woman's sexual response, from the deepest emotional roots of her childhood to her wildest adult fantasies, from every nerve ending in her vagina to a complete map of every erogenous zone on her body, and the simple, no-nonsense approach to making every part of that instrument sing out with pulsing, irresistible pleasure that's gonna leave her spent and whispering, how did you do that? Or Oh my God, where did you come from? And, you know, I know she's going to do that because I get emails like this 
on average once a day. Somebody will write me something like this. Now, every time I have sex, it's followed by her saying, holy shit, how did you do that? This is one of my favorite ones. This guy uh, is a little more dignified about it. He says, I'm over 50 and can attest to the fact that following the advice you give works. And in parens, he writes, I would have to censor this if I repeated what she so often tells me. In the section of the book about her, I'm going to give you the facts about the clitoris so you'll know exactly why some women take so much longer to have orgasms. And while other men get frustrated by this, you'll know exactly how to make her come quickly and easily. I'll explain how to find, stimulate, and understand the G spot and the A spot and every other alphabet spot so that you can give her deep, powerful vaginal orgasms that will make her feel incredibly close and safe with you. And I mean the expert level stuff, the stuff that goes way beyond that simple stuff you see everywhere about the come here motion on the G spot. And you need to know this stuff. Why? Because 70% of women get zero sexual pleasure from stimulation on their G spot. Zero. That's why so many research and gynecologists will tell you that the G spot is just an urban myth. Now, if your sex partner is one of those seven out of 10 majority, then once you understand how to awaken her sexual response to these nerve rich regions inside of her, she's going to thank you forever for teaching her how to have this kind of intense and frankly important kind of pleasure in her life. There are a ton of physical techniques that are included in revolutionary sex from the best intercourse positions to the most powerful oral sex techniques, anal sex techniques, including the absolute best way to get this right for a first timer, foreplay mastery, almost nobody really understands this correctly. Virtually every man gets this wrong and step-by-step -step instruction for giving her female ejaculation. And yet all of this is only half the story. Without a deeper understanding of her sexual heart and mind, sure, you might be able to give her consistent orgasms, yet virtually all women come preloaded with mental and emotional circuit breakers that actually cause them to shut off at some point and prevent them from experiencing too much pleasure. There's a scary level of pleasure, and it goes way beyond what most women allow themselves to experience. It's a level of pleasure where they no longer have any kind of control over themselves. It's unknown territory, and it's so big that frankly, it freaks her out and it makes her slam on the brakes. That's why the central purpose of revolutionary sex is to give you the mental and emotional tools to open her heart to her deepest surrender. The surrender of all control, all possibility of control, a surrender to her lover to guide her into an abyss of pleasure that she could never enter alone. And that's why the third part of the book is about you and her and how to manage the way you sexually interact together. In the together portion of the book, I open the mysteries for you of bringing her to these out of control places of orgasmic pleasure that come from guiding her from multiple orgasm to extended orgasm and finally into stacked orgasm. In a stacked orgasm, you actually take her from the orgasmic state and bump her up into an orgasm state above orgasm and then even another orgasmic state above that one. This part of the book also deals with uncovering her deepest and most secret sexual fantasies. It delves into everything from sexual role playing to bondage and domination, and even into a deep understanding of why some couples are drawn to sadomasochism and the darker energies of sexuality. If you want to play with this dark energy, revolutionary sex will guide you into the experience in a way that will help you appreciate it in the context of a loving couple who are exploring their personal edge. Even if you're not into that sort of thing, then just your understanding of why these thoughts exist inside of us and how they relate to your woman's experience of sexuality will make you much more sexually powerful and more trustable as a man, which will allow all women to more comfortably surrender into higher states of sexual bliss when they're with you. And revolutionary sex will guide you into the art of using your words in the bedroom, from dirty talk to sweet romantic whispering to create all kinds of new erotic possibilities for both you and for your woman, including exact word-for-word -word scripting you can try out and use as a starting point for learning what it is you want to say in bed. Now, I could go on and on, though I think I've already made the point. Revolutionary sex is the last program you will ever need to become a master of female sexuality. Her body, her mind, her heart. Don't just take my word for it. Here's what women are saying about revolutionary sex. I got this one from Leslie. She says, up until a few weeks ago, my partner's performance was something of an undisclosed part of our relationship, which it is for so many couples and it's so hard. And then she goes on to write, I'm more than happy to brag to people that you've changed him for the better. 
Chris writes, uh, even after 10 years of marriage, this just kicked my ass. She wrote, my lover deserves nothing less. I deserve nothing less. It's beautiful to serve couples like that. Thank you. And Lisa wrote, <laughs> I wondered if you have a graduate list. These are the types of guys I want to meet. Basically, with revolutionary sex, you're getting everything you need. You're getting the gun and the bullets. Everything you need to create the most incredible erotic relationship you've ever imagined. I've held nothing back. Recently, I met a woman at a conference who told me that she would have gladly paid me a million dollars, a million dollars for the changes my work helped to create in her relationship with her husband. Now, obviously, I, I was flattered. I was deeply grateful, extremely humbled. And then this other guy who overheard said, yeah, but you don't actually have a million dollars. I mean, what would you actually be willing to pay? And here's what she said. She said, if you had a briefcase with a million dollars, tax-free cash, and told me I could walk out of here with that million dollars, no questions asked, but I'd have to forget what we learned from Alex, I would walk away from that money. Obviously, that felt in incredibly good. It's, it's hard to really explain what that meant to me. Of course, you're not going to pay a million dollars. Plus, you're not just receiving Revolutionary Sex Program today. Just for watching this presentation, I'm going to give you free of charge a bunch of value-added bonuses that are going to help you gain confidence in your complete mastery over female sexuality even faster. So over the past couple of years, I've gotten tons of requests for an audio version of the book. Frankly, I like to read stuff, but I do have a lot of friends, more all the time, who tell me they don't read at all anymore. They do all of their, quote, reading with audiobooks so that they can get it in during their daily commute or while they're working out or washing the dishes, whatever. Anyway, I finally bowed to the pressure, and for the first time, I'm also including a fully chaptered out, professionally recorded audiobook version of Revolutionary Sex. Uh, some in business advisor of mine told me to sell it separately and for a higher price than the book, but frankly, that didn't make any sense to me because it's exactly the same material, so I'm just including it. Another great bonus I'm throwing in is my short ebook, How to Initiate Sex Without Ever Being Rejected. I've been selling this book separately for years, and I may go back to selling it separately at some point. But a few days ago, I got the idea to include it in this package, and it just really felt right to me. Whether you're on a first date and the sparks are flying, or you've been married for 20 years, having a full understanding of how to start things up in a way that's comfortable and exciting for your woman is actually a key part of the sexual experience. And this book shows you exactly how to get her in a mood in a way that she's going to welcome and appreciate. Plus, you'll feel a lot more comfortable knowing that you can get her turned on without the fear of rejection. And nothing is 100%, obviously. There's times when she's really, really not in the mood. I'm not saying this is going to work for Cat Just Died. But this is some very, very good material that will put a lot more sex into your life. And I'm throwing it in for you to sweeten the deal because I really do believe that it's an important part of the whole sex thing. But here's the real killer bonus. A couple of months ago, I was interviewed by multi-award winning media goddess Susan Bratton, a good friend of mine. Susan is famous for being one of the top interviewers in the world. So I'll just go ahead and give her all the credit for how good this thing turned out. Anyway, she got me to dig into the deepest material I have ever publicly shared. In fact, a lot of this stuff is my own personal edge, stuff I'm working on in my own relationship. And to be honest with you, I don't think men who haven't already read Revolutionary Sex will even be able to figure out what the heck I was talking about, which is why I call it Alex's Edge. I started out by exposing the number one mistake that virtually every man on the path to sexual mastery makes. And that would be reason enough to include this recording as a bonus to the book. But I also talk about some super advanced topics, topics like female performance anxiety, which is really the main reason that women who can't have orgasms can't have orgasms. And I share three incredibly powerful and very advanced techniques for building sexual trust that are not included in the Revolutionary Sex Program. And I talk about how to use these techniques to create deep sexual surrender in a way that, quite frankly, 99.9% .9 of the people in the world will go to their graves without ever experiencing, which is a shame. I talk about sharing your passion authentically in a way that makes women feel massive attraction and how to unlock your woman so that she can access her own femininity in ways that she can't do for herself. And I reveal the most counterintuitive thing that all women really want in bed and that nobody knows about, plus much, much more. Honestly, as I'm writing this, I just finished listening to it so that I could write this bit that uh, I just read out above. And I'm not kidding. I was blown away. This thing is freaking awesome. And I'm super excited that I decided to include it. 
because it's the perfect complement to revolutionary sex and it's seriously going to change your life. So yeah, I'm throwing all that in when you get revolutionary sex today and for a drastically discounted price that's way below the true value of the program. I'm making this a no-brainer for you for a reason and I will share that reason in a second. Look, get this, women actually feel betrayed and unloved when they're not getting what they need sexually. So they just stew and they get more and more frustrated until they start blowing up and they start fights with you about things that seriously make no sense. And what's going on here is that they are sexually frustrated. See, whatever excuse women use for saving your ego and avoiding being called names when the guy turns angry and defensive at the end of a relationship, most of the time it's this sexual dissatisfaction that's their number one motivation for breaking up. Though, like I said, that's never the reason that they tell men. Or worse, you know, they cheat. And it's not that these women are heartless or immoral. It's just that they literally can't understand why the sex isn't what they dream of it being. And eventually they begin to resent you because they feel like if you really gave a shit, you would do something about it. You'd make the effort to figure this stuff out. Like in their mind, you're the one that betrayed them long before they cheated on you. And sure, plenty of women don't cheat because of deep moral convictions or they won't leave their relationship out of respect for the genuine love they feel for their man, you know, as a best friend. But let me ask you something. Is that good enough for you? Is it okay that she doesn't cheat or leave you because she's a woman of good character? Because that feels pretty crappy to me. If you're anything like me, you want a woman to stay with you because she's 100% thrilled with her life with you, because she doesn't want another man, because you're the only man she dreams of being with, period. So here's the reason I'm giving you such a massive discount today. Let me share my dream with you. It's a cause that I'm inviting you to join, along with thousands of other men like you who are already in this thing. Men who are ready to take back the good name of being a man. Men who believe that masculinity should be loved by women and not ridiculed as just a bunch of macho joking around and beer drinking and whatever it is that masculinity is joked about on all the sitcoms. Men who want to take the risk of creating authentic, deep intimacy with a woman and not just settle for the cliche of what every television show tells us relationships are in the 21st century. So a few years ago, I set an inspiring goal. I decided to dedicate myself to helping at least one million couples achieve authentic, deep, passionate, and loving relationships. I've come to believe that the keystone that separates best friend couples from passionate couples is the sex. And since then, I have helped thousands of couples achieve the kind of relationships that our cynical world would have you believe only exists in romantic stories. Now I'm off to a pretty good start. If I can reach one million couples, I believe I can create a cultural change that would bring more joy to the world. Can you imagine it? Each of those loving couples inspiring others to see what was possible. How different would politics be if everyone in Congress was having great connected and intimate sex back home? It sounds like I'm kidding, but really, how much happier would the children of those couples be? How many fewer suicides and suicide bombers would there be if everybody was having great sex at home? I believe, as Sigmund Freud believed, that sexual frustration is the root of all violence. And I am 100% serious about making a more peaceful planet by sharing my work. The bottom line, I decided that I need to let as many folks as possible to join in on this cause. Good news for you. What that means is a lower price for you because I honestly don't want finances to stop anyone from joining up. I'm inviting you to be one of the men who awe women with pleasure and who show them what they probably never even believed was possible for them to experience during lovemaking. Starting right now, that means that today you will not be paying the regular value of revolutionary sex plus all of the bonuses, not even close or even the value of the Revolutionary Sex 3rd Edition by itself. Your total investment today, which includes the Revolutionary Sex 3rd Edition and all the bonuses you see above, is now only one payment of just $47. Listen, I want to make sure you understand that you do not have to take any risk right now. Take advantage of my unconditional triple guarantee. Just try the Revolutionary Sex program for two full months. If you apply the lessons in the program and you don't get everything you expect out of sex in those 60 short days, or if your woman is not absolutely blown away by the improvement in your sex life in the first 30 days, or 
you just don't like the color of the book cover, the way I indent the paragraphs, one of the illustrations, or you just don't want to tell me your reasons. I will gladly refund every penny, no questions, no hassles. Look below this video now. Click on the big orange button that says Add to Cart to claim your discounted price now. You'll join thousands of other revolutionary sex couples, like Steve who said, Your advice has made me a better partner to my wife. She's continually amazed at how I can surprise her with new and different ways of pleasing her even after all of these years. I'm writing today not only to thank you, but also to let you know the impact it's had on my life. Roberto writes, my sex life has changed drastically, even though I've been with my wife for six years. And um, this guy writes something that really touched me. He said he's had a number of the best lovemaking experiences with his wife. And he goes on to say that I am a person with cerebral palsy and that the book worked. I learned to feel, understand, and sense my wife deeper than I was able to before. And I truly needed that piece of philosophy I found in your book to understand my wife. And uh, he says, my wife also thanks you and wishes more men read your book since there are so many unhappy women in our world. And Sean writes that he managed multiple orgasms on his very first try. Plus, if you act now before this presentation ends, I will toss in all of the great bonuses, the Revolutionary Sex audiobook, How to Initiate Sex Without Ever Being Rejected, the Alex's Edge Advanced Sex Tips Program, a total value of over $217. Today, if you act now, it's all yours for a one-time payment of only $47. Remember, it's not just a great bargain. You'll be joining in on a community of men who are making a real difference in the way sex is viewed in our culture. If you're a couple, your happiness and ease together is going to serve as a role model to your friends of really what's possible. If you're single, when you do meet your fantasy girl, what a beautiful way to begin your romantic relationship together. A night that she will seriously never forget. Click on the big orange button that says add to cart and you'll be granted immediate access to the Revolutionary Sex 3rd Edition program plus all of the bonuses. Here's exactly what's going to happen the moment you click on the orange Add to Cart button below this video. First, you'll be taken to my ClickBank 100% secure checkout page. I chose to work with ClickBank because they set the industry standard in technology and procedures for safe, secure, and the most trusted online transactions. After you order, you can select any add-ons you prefer so you can get everything you want out of sex and your relationships, and then just click on the button that says complete your order. It'll look just like this. Finally, you'll be taken to your download page where you can click the download your product now buttons for each of the programs you ordered. If you have any trouble at all with any part of the process, please go ahead and contact me at support at revolutionarysex.com and I will make sure you get help fast. Remember, the disappointment of just doing the same thing in bed that you did last time and the time before is only going to lead to more frustration, more despair, and more continued uncertainty with sex. Yet all of this can change the moment you begin applying the easy-to-use principles in the revolutionary sex system. Picture how it will be when the thought of sex makes you feel alive and free. One of the most beautiful things about it is that by this time tomorrow night, you'll have that overwhelming sense of knowing confidence that when you've got that special girl, the one you really care about, the one you're super excited about and her clothing is coming off with you for the first time or even if it's for the hundredth time, you'll almost want to laugh out loud because you're going to know what's in store for her. You'll know she's about to have one of the most important experiences of her life, that she's about to learn things about her own body's ability to experience pleasure that she never even imagined before this night. And you get to be the man who gave her that experience, who shared it with her. You're experiencing the freedom and the confidence you deserve at long last. Yeah, it's true. Not being born with this knowledge is not your fault. And it's true you've been lied to about what women want and the insanity of our society's warped views of sex. However, today is your day to take the action necessary to become one of the few men who really get it. A new path of deeply connecting to women as a lover. And what's cool is, revolutionary sex simply works. In fact, it's guaranteed to work. You can try for a full two months and get real results, or you pay nothing. Plus, you're always minutes away from my friendly support staff. Look below this video, click on the Add to Cart button. You're going to be taken immediately to my secure checkout server so that you can get started today. 
As soon as you download the book, open it to page 39 where I explain the exact step-by-step -step method to give any woman an orgasm. And use that simple method tonight with your woman and watch her light up like a Christmas tree. You do not want to put this off any longer. And here's why. First, like I said, I may take this video down very soon. You may not be able to come back and get the same deal later. Second, I might remove some of the bonuses. I've been thinking about selling them separately again, and I'm also thinking about removing them so that I can turn one of them into a regular bookstore kind of book so that I can reach more people. Third, unless you take action now, you might do what some people do and just keep putting it off just for a few more days, and that turns into a few months, and that turns into years. We've all done that before, and there's a reason that people do this. It's because we're afraid of disappointment. We're afraid that nothing will work. Don't be afraid to take a chance on yourself. So let's do what you really want and do the only smart thing you can do. Take advantage of this opportunity and wisely get on the right path to intimacy and great sex. Click the Add to Cart button below and let's get started now. So in case you're still here, there's a, a story that I'd like to tell you about if you're just on the fence. It, it's a personal story about what happened to me on New Year's Eve. And uh, it just occurred to me that I would add this in because it feels good to me. It really meant a lot to me. You know, over the course of the last seven years since I originally wrote my book, at one time or another, I've probably emailed it to all of my close friends. It's just, you know, at some point we'd be having a conversation and they'd say, well, gee, Margin, I would love to try that out. Why don't you just send me a copy? And so, you know, I would email it over to them and then I'd never hear from them again, or at least not on that subject, which isn't surprising because, you know, you don't pay for something and somebody just emails it to you, you know, a good friend of yours who you know well. And, uh, of course, they don't look at me as a teacher. They just look at me as a friend. So, you know, I would send it out to them. And, of course, I'm sure they never even looked at it. Anyway, I don't know why, some kind of mystery of fate or karma or whatever, but apparently everybody that I know who I've been sending this book to over years, over seven years, they all seem to have read it around the same time, which was, you know, I guess in November of, or, or December of last year, because on New Year's Eve, when all my friends were together, uh, all throughout the evening, one by one, uh, couples were coming up to me and pulling me aside and saying, hey, Alex, you know, we, we finally read your book. And wow, I mean, we had these amazing results and we're, we're having the best sex of our lives. Our lovemaking is at a whole new level and we're so grateful to you. And, and this was happening over and over and over again. And uh, actually, you know, it actually drove me to tears. At one point, I actually had to excuse myself and I walked outside so I could be alone for a little while. And I started to cry. I mean, I, I really, uh, it, it was amazingly different from getting emails from customers because these were people I, I really knew, people I love and, and whose lives I have a stake in. So uh, over the next couple of days, uh, a couple of them actually sent me some emails and uh, I, I included some of those emails and I'm just going to click through them right now because I want to share them with you. And again, these are not testimonials from customers. Uh, these are actually my, my, my real live friends. And so for me, it's kind of special. And by the way, I put some of the testimonials from customers, folks that paid for it, uh, below this video so you could see some of those as well. And, and they're cool. I mean, they're awesome. In fact, those emails are the main reason that I do what I do. It's what makes me get up in the morning. It's what gives me enormous satisfaction uh, in my work because basically my job is helping couples have better intimacy and, and more pleasure in their lives, which is an awfully cool way to make a living. So. I really love what I do. But let me just uh, uh, show you some of these emails that I got from my friends. So uh, this first one, uh, Alex, I read the ebook you sent me and I want to share something with you. Alex, you are the real deal. As I was reading all your material, I was so present to the value you provide. I use so many of the distinctions you teach in other areas of my life, but I had never thought to apply them to the bedroom. Duh. You reminded me of the difference between masculine and feminine and provided me with access to a huge breakthrough in my life as a lover and a partner. In any event, I want to thank you and acknowledge you for the man that you are. I can feel that I'm quickly moving closer to remembering and expressing the man that I am, and you brought that out in me. Without wanting to sound like a stuck record, I am so grateful for you and your love. Thank you, my friend. And, uh, you know, hid the name. But um, this guy actually uh, was divorced uh, a couple of years ago and he's been single and he's actually a very handsome and charming guy so he's burned through 
<laughs> an awful lot of girlfriends. This guy gets laid a lot. And uh, it was kind of interesting that, you know, I sent it to him. And I guess he, he read it. And he's uh, actually now in a relationship. So maybe I had a little something to do with that. I don't know. I'm not claiming credit for that. But uh, the email speaks for itself. And it was an honor getting this from a male friend. Uh, this one is from a woman and uh, also uh, some friends of mine that literally just got married. And uh, she wrote, Alex, 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 wow. Uh, Jay and I went home and felt more connected and in sync than ever. Oh, and had great sex. You really hit the nail on the head regarding Jay not fully expressing all of his emotions in bed. And I really needed that. I'm not sure how long it would have taken us to discover that on our own. Your advice gave us another piece of brilliant information to, I'm sorry, your advice gave us another key piece of information to growing even deeper. You are brilliant. Thank you for, thank you for your raw honesty and your fucking intensity. God, I love that about you. Jay and I are so fortunate to have you in our lives. Your words of wisdom and insight are priceless. We are definitely going to rely on you as one of our pillars of strength. We are always here for you to offer what we can. What Jay and I did was a bit shocking, but we are so in love and committed to evolving to our highest levels individually and as one. I know that having you on our team will be a key component of our success. I wish I wasn't out of town this weekend so I could have hung out with you before you left. So grateful for you. Uh, take care of yourself down there in the DR and we will be visiting. Love you, A.D. And uh, the thing that she's talking about that she said, you know, what we did was a bit shocking is um, these two friends of mine, we've uh, all been friends for many, many years. And they've been friends for many years. And they, uh, they recently discovered that they were into each other and they fell in love and uh, they didn't tell anyone that they were seeing each other because we were, you know, we're kind of a tight-knit group of friends. And then they, they ran off and got married. <laughs> and, uh, and they came back married and we were all like, what? We didn't even know you guys were into each other. You know, so it was, it, was, it was pretty shocking. But now they've got this great marriage and they're doing really well together. And apparently they're also having great sex. Uh, this one... Um, also from a, a woman, um, a good friend of mine uh, who, uh, who lives here on, on the island. Uh, M has been a new man since he read your book in almost every way. The main thing is he's listening both to me and to himself about what the universe is saying at that moment. Pretty great. It's leading to a better sense of connection in every way. I have gratitude in my heart for being married to the love of my life and to you for sharing your book and uh, kisses and hugs. So again, just kind of a cool thing. And this is a couple, by the way, who've been married for 30 years. They've been together for 30 years. I mean, they're an older older couple. And uh, you know, a lot of people who've been married for 30 years aren't having sex at all. And apparently they are and, uh, and better. So what an amazing honor. I'm practically tearing up just reading this now. Uh, so, you know, this book, it really does contain every piece of information that you're ever going to need to give a woman the kind of earth-shattering sexual experience that she's never going to experience with anybody else. If you're serious about becoming the type of man that women fantasize and brag to their friends about, then honestly, you owe it to yourself and to every woman you're going to be with for the rest of your life to get your hands on these secrets immediately. I, I personally guarantee they're going to work for you. And they have worked for me, they worked for my friends, and, and obviously uh, so many other guys and uh, customers. And by personally guarantee, I, you know, I mean two full months to decide or, or you get your money back. Plus, you should act while I've included all the bonuses, the, uh, the audio version of the book and the, uh, the other cool stuff. And you know that incredibly badass audio class that I did with Susan Bratton. It's, it's the most advanced stuff that I've ever taught anywhere, and I'm super proud of it. So when you click the link, uh, you'll be taken to a super secure SSL and 128-bit encrypted server. Uh, it's, uh, it's where your order can be safely processed. Uh, they say, in fact, that entering your credit card in an SSL site is safer than having your card swiped at a local shop. And what's going to happen is right after you put in your information, you, you click the, uh, the enter button, you're going to get two emails. One of them is going to confirm your order and, you know, with your receipt. And the other is uh, going to have all the download instructions to get your copy of Revolutionary Sex and all the bonuses. So all you have to do is click below and get all of it right now. Still here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the opportunity uh, for those who are still hanging on to answer some of the most common questions that I get from customers. And maybe I'll save you the effort of sending me an email.
So uh, first question is, when do I get it? And like I said, immediately, you're going to get it right away. As soon as you uh, put in your credit card information and you click, uh, you click the uh, Get It Now button, you'll, uh, you'll receive two emails. One of the emails is going to be your receipt, and the other email will have your download information. And I, I guess there are times when the uh, email servers don't talk to each other nicely, and it could take, I guess, a couple of hours, but that would be super unusual. Usually you'll get it pretty much instantly, and if you, if you don't get it within you know, an hour or two for sure, uh, email me at uh, support at revolutionarysex.com or alex at revolutionarysex.com, and uh, assuming it's Monday to Friday, we'll take care of it for you immediately. Um, is it safe to order online? What about my privacy? Well, yeah, it's super safe to order online. It's 128-bit uh, uh, encryption uh, secure socket uh, uh, system. I use a, a third-party shopping cart system that is, you know, very, very reputable. They've been around for a long time, and uh, I've been selling online now for seven years. I've never had a single customer call to uh, tell me they've had any kind of credit card fraud or anything like that. So it's super safe. And I have read that it's safer than swiping a card at your local store or restaurant. And uh, what about your privacy? Uh, the name of my company is Life Love Passion Incorporated. And the, uh, the book obviously is called Revolutionary Sex. But uh, on your credit card statement, it's going to just say Alex Allman because, uh, you know, uh, some people obviously have some privacy issues and other people, you know, their accountant looking at their credit card statement and wanting anything that says sex on it. So uh, it just gets uh, billed on your credit card statement to Alex Allman. I'm a woman. Is this book any good for me? Well, honestly, it's not for you. This book is written for men. And I have another program for women called Revolutionary Sex for Her. And you can find that at revolutionarysexforher.com. That said, women love this book. Uh, a tremendous number of my readers are women. And uh, some of them obviously uh, buy it for their, their husband and they, they read it together and I guess they enjoy it together. Uh, but for some women, it's, it's difficult because they don't have that kind of communication and that kind of relationship with their man. And so uh, it wouldn't be the kind of thing they could bring up because they'd have to sort of admit that they want sex to be better than it is. And that's a weird and awkward conversation for some couples. Some couples are okay with it, some aren't. So uh, uh, the other possibility is some women buy it, I guess, I assume, because they want to know more about their own body and their own sexual response. And uh, it, it informs them of what uh, a great lover might be able to do for them. But it really isn't for women. It really is a book that's written for men. But like I said, women love it. Uh, but revolutionary sex for her is probably the better option if you are trying to figure out how to have a better sexual experience as a woman. Uh, and Revolutionary Sex for Her talks more about how to pull a good performance out of a man, uh, but they're, they're very different programs. How quickly will I get results? Uh, immediately, tonight, uh, you know, and I really mean that. If you open the book to any random page and you read for two or three minutes, you know, a couple of pages worth, uh, you're gonna get something that you can use tonight that will really improve your sex life. I, I guarantee it. Um, I absolutely guarantee it. There's so much good material in there and you don't have to read through the entire book to get results. I think obviously everybody should read through the entire book. There's actually, I, I really think everybody should read through the entire book for a specific reason, which is there are certain deeper level concepts in the book uh, that aren't just techniques that I talk about literally in every chapter. So I'll talk about it from a fingering technique, from a, an oral sex technique, from a kissing technique, from an intercourse technique, from an intercourse position. And, and I'm talking about these same concepts over and over again through these things. And the reason is because they're hard, they're hard to get. They're, uh, they're more about the way you approach your sexuality emotionally as a man and the way to deal with women's emotional sexuality and how to deal with these things together. And, it's really through reading the entire book that you'll get the, the best results. But yeah, tonight, you'll get results tonight. And it's a pretty quick read, by the way. Um, it's, uh, it's a little over 200 pages, but it's a pretty quick read. And uh, I think uh, uh, you're gonna enjoy every second of, of the program. But yes, results tonight. I'm not in a relationship, will it still help me? Well, like I said, it, it's really not a how to meet women program and it is kind of cool I think to have this book on your shelf and learn this stuff for your next relationship. I think that would be super cool. But 
it's not stuff you can practice on your own. It really is something that's going to make more sense for you if you're sexually active. So you don't need to be in, in, a, in a relationship, uh, but if you have women in your life that you're sexually active with, if you're dating and, uh, and you're actually having sex now and then, then you're absolutely you're going to get a ton out of the book. But if you're not sexually active, if you're a virgin buying it for some day, it's, it's not for you. If you're a virgin buying it because you're about to be having sex for the first time, absolutely, then it's going to be absolutely phenomenal for you. But it's not for you if you're, if you're not about to be sexually active. And that leads to the question, what if I'm a virgin? So a lot of people that buy the program, that's why they're buying it. In fact, uh, there's an interesting thing that I, I hadn't thought about being um, a, a resident of, of big cities in the United States for most of my life and now living in kind of a, a wild uh, Caribbean island uh, where it's sort of anything goes. But uh, a, a large number of my readers are from cultures where there are arranged marriages. And uh, I don't know if it's a large number, it's probably a very small number, but I get a lot of emails from these men who are about to get married and they're virgins and their their bride-to-be is a virgin. And they've had these conversations with their, their uncles and male cousins who are married who say, look, if it's not good the first night, your whole marriage is going to be fucked. Your whole marriage is going to be really screwed up and she's never going to like sex and, and that's going to be the rest of your life. So you got to make sure she has a really good night the first night. And I, it's funny. And then, of course, they feel incredibly pressured. And uh, so these guys go on the internet, they do a little research and they find my site and they buy my book. And it's great for them. I mean, it's, I've got, it's funny how many of them write to me and say, oh man, we had like this amazing first night and thank you. So uh, that's the answer to that question. If you're a virgin and uh, you're getting ready, you know, you and your, your girlfriend or wife to be have discussed the fact that you're about to be um, having sex for the first time, then yeah, absolutely. Get the book, read it together. I think it would be a great experience for you. Uh, but if you're a, a virgin hoping that this is going to help you get laid, it's, it's not. It's really, it's not. It's not for you. Uh, there's other, other books that you're going to want to get instead about how to actually get a girlfriend. So uh, I'd recommend that instead. Uh, my partner and I fight a lot. Will revolutionary sex help? Yes. The short answer is yes. Um, the longer answer is, obviously, that... You know, great sex is not the end-all be-all, and it's not the answer to every problem in your relationship. But what it does do is it really changes your perspective on your willingness and her willingness to do the work it takes to get through that period where you fight a lot. Because when the sex is great, you really do approach each other differently. You have a different level of respect for each other and a different level of knowing each other because great sex really is a communication. It's not a a yak yak verbal communication where frankly so much can be misunderstood which is what leads to a lot of fights with couples it's it's a conversation a nonverbal conversation where nothing can be misunderstood because it's happening in in a real physical way and you get to share a level of intimacy when she surrenders this deeply to you that really makes her know that like you get her you've kind of got her back in a way that is highly meaningful she's going to trust you in a new way and it makes her less apt to kind of bitch about the little stuff. And it really does solve a lot of problems. So yeah, I mean, I think a lot of couples who get this program fight a lot less afterwards. And that, that said, I will tell this story. I was at a book signing once in LA and a woman came up to me and with kind of a tear in her eye and she said, oh, uh, Mr. Allman, it's so nice to meet you. I, my husband and I read your book and uh, we really enjoyed it and it almost saved our marriage. And uh, that was kind of bittersweet, uh, but apparently what, what she said was that uh, after they went through the book together, their sex life dramatically improved. They start, started having this great sex together, and it really made them realize how many other areas of their life they were really compromising in and how, how their marriage really didn't work. Once this one part did work, they realized how much the rest of it didn't, and they, uh, they parted as, as friends. So kind of a sad story. And it, I guess, shows that it's, uh, it's not going to solve every problem for every couple. Uh, and I'm not going to pretend that it is. But I, I really do think that very often when you and your partner are fighting a lot, it's because the physical intimacy isn't working. And you both feel it. You both feel some resentment. You're kind of present to the fact that you could be with other women who might be more willing to give you the kind of sex you want. You might be present to the fact that 
you're not really uh, making the effort that she feels you should be making to sexually satisfy her. And so she's like, why should I even do it anymore? And this is the conversations people have in their head. So uh, if there was one thing about this program that I'd be most proud of, it would be the relationships that it, it has helped to um, rejuvenate and to make better and maybe even to save. So uh, that's, um, that's a really big deal to me. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I, I certainly had a lot of fun making it for you. All you have to do to get started is click the button below. Uh, you'll get taken to the secure order page and uh, from there you can enter your information and uh, like I said, you'll, you'll immediately be sent the download information for the program so you can enjoy it tonight. And I know that you are really going to be amazed and pleased uh, by the incredible abilities you're going to gain in your sex life. Uh, just like thousands and thousands of other readers before you. It worked for them uh, and it's going to work for you too. So uh, go ahead and click the button below and thank you very much.